Assalamualaikum and very good day to all. So I'm going to make a very short video on the introduction of Prolog, uh, which is actually a programming uh, uh, logic, okay, logic programming. So what is actually Prolog? It's a programming language, okay, which uses logic, okay. Mm. So there are a few concepts that is in Prolog. The first one, we have to declare a fact. Okay, uh, and to declare a fact, we use a lower case. So if you have learned what is logic before, so we know this is a predicate logic, uh, whereby we have an object inside, and the way we read this is the first object, and then the relationship followed by the second object. So in this case, it is Maya likes noodle, and Joe likes noodle. So the one in front is the relationship, okay? The objects will be the arguments, which is actually separated by comma, and you can have many objects inside of the arguments, okay? Uh, and as I said, this is the conjunction, okay? Uh, you can put N or and etc. Okay, we also have uh, queries. After we have a fact, we declare facts, we can give a query, okay? Uh, so... For example, okay, we start our query with a question mark. So, does Mar Maya likes rice? So, the, the compiler will check from the uh, facts that we have declared and they see that there's no rice in the object, on the second object. There are Maya, there is Maya, but there's no rice. So, it will uh, give out trigger no. Okay. And then in the second question, what does Maya likes? Okay, so this is a new variable or unknown, something that we are, uh, is not known. So we can actually represent with X or Y or Z, whatever, as long as, is, as long as it is a caps lock. Okay, so what does Maya likes? Okay, so or Maya likes what? Okay. And then the compiler will look into all the facts and they see that Maya likes. So whatever the object that is in the second object here, okay, will be uh, the answer for the query. So in this case, they will uh, display noodle. So if we declare second one, okay, Maya likes flower, for example. So when you press enter, you have flower as a second option, okay, as a second answer. Right. And as I said, variables like here, x, y, z, or whatever, we use a caps lock. Okay. Right. A part of facts, okay, prolog also uh, accept rules. Okay, rules. Uh, so what does rules uh, contain? It contains head and the body. So in our normal languages, we use if. Okay, for example, if it is... Um, if it is cloudy, okay, and no wind, then it will rain, okay. So the conjunction is at, at the front, if it's cloudy, and we have a conjunction here, and uh, windy, not windy, sorry, then that is the body, what will happen next, okay, then it will rain, okay. So in this case, okay, the sentence is, Joe like any woman who likes food, okay. So how do we read this, okay. Uh, Joe like X if, okay, X is a woman and X likes food. Okay. Right. So let's put this into the uh, more example. Okay. So we have here, okay, Kalisa is a compact car. Kantil is also a compact car. Polo is also a compact car. And then we have uh, another class. Here, Triton is a four-wheel drive, Hilux is a four-wheel drive, Ranger is a four-wheel drive, Pajero is also a four-wheel drive. So how do we query? Okay, we can ask, uh, is Polo is four-wheel drive? So they will look at Polo here, and it's not four-wheel drive. So the answer will be no. Is Kalisa is a car? No, it should be compact car here. Is Kalisa is a compact car? Then the answer is yes. If it's just car, then it should be no. All right. Is, is Ranger is a four-wheel drive. So we see here four-wheel drive and the object is Ranger. So it matches, so it will give yes. Okay, is Pajero a car or Pajero is a compact car? So no, Pajero is not a car. So I will answer no. Okay, next, simple uh, 
Fabs, okay, Abu likes Prolog, Jane like Prolog. Abu like durian, Jane like durian. So we can ask question like, what does Abu likes? So the Prolog will give out X as the Prolog and durian, okay, because Abu like durian and Abu also like Prolog. What are the things that Jane likes? Okay, so they will look at the uh, knowledge base or the facts that we have declared. So Jane like Prolog. And then the third, the fourth track will be Jane like rambutan. Okay. So the next one. Okay. Let's say we want to find something that is liked by both Abu and Jane. Okay. So the step, the compiler will look at the facts one by one. Okay. Uh, and then to find what matches this. Okay. So the X, okay, what Abu like must be the same because it's X and X. Okay. Likes by both. So let's look at the uh, animation of this, a simple animation. So the first one, the compiler will look at the first fact that Abu like durian. Okay. So the current result X is a durian. So X is a variable. So they put durian as an X. Okay. And then we'll look at the second one to find what Jane like. Okay. So Jane like rambutan. So rambutan is not same with durian. Right. So it's not matching. So the, they will try to trigger the next one, what Jane like. Okay, so Jane like prolog. And prolog is not the same with durian. Okay, so it doesn't match. Okay, so next, the compiler will look at the second part here. That is Abu like prolog. Okay, so now X is prolog. Okay, and then look at the next fact that is Jane like rambutan. Rambutan is not prolog, so it's not the same thing. It doesn't match. Okay. And then look at the second one that Jane like. Jane like prolog. And this prolog is same with the X. Okay, so it matches. Okay, so that's how you get the answer.